Hola everybody, como estas? This is Ilara from Ilara Inspires. So it has been a little bit since I have posted a video, uh, about two, actually three weeks now. So I do apologize for that. I actually did have a derma a rolling video that I did uh, right after I did my curly hair routine, but as everything else, life take us in the way. I was busy being a mom, this whole quarantine, getting a routine down. Oh my God, moms, if you don't believe, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, basically what I've been doing with my son is ABC Mouse, uh, activity books and different things like that, two hours a day, so, ah. <laughs> but, so I'm actually going to redo the derma uh, rolling video now because I think I'm in a better, <laughs> better place for it, all right? So please make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification button. This way you're notified every time I put out new content. And if you have not yet, make sure you check out my um, skincare routine, all right? This way you can see what I'm doing with my sensitive dry acne prone uh skincare and since i've been doing it i will definitely say my breakouts have been a lot less now i do have breakouts but that's just because it's quarantine so we have been eating a lot more su uh, sweet sugary things that we should be so <laughs> easy steps for dermal rolling nice and simple is you want to sterilize your dermal roller all right so I use right here alcohol this is 70% that is the lowest you want to go is the 70% but the higher you go obviously the more you're killing the bacteria so definitely go as high as you can I just have the 70% at home but as you see I told you. of the process okay step two is you want to put your hair up so you see right now let me just duck a little bit oh mm, how you doing actually so i have curly hair if you haven't seen my other videos definitely check out my curly hair routine video if you have not already but i have curly hair it gets all over the place and plus it's short and I have bangs. So you definitely want to put your hair up if you have hair that gets in the way. You can either use your scarf, you can use your bonnet, whatever it is. But you also want to, and I'm even going to push it back more, but you also want your hairline to be showing because we will also be doing our hairline as well. Because believe it or not, dermal rolling does promote hair growth. So we will be doing our hairline and we will be doing our lips as well. So just keep all of that um, good. Now I am wetting my lips with my tongue, so I do apologize about that. But it's just so I could actually talk so it doesn't get so cracky. But you really want to prevent doing that. Just because, again, I did just brush my teeth in the shower. I just got out the shower. But don't forget, your tongue holds a lot of bacteria. Now you're just about to put a lot of, um, you're about to puncture your skin. So you don't really want to be rubbing bacteria all against that, all right? So try not to do that. Step three, all right? You want to start with picking a spot. Here is my derma roller, all right? I'm going to take my glasses off. We're going to start. So if you're not ready, take a second, pause the video. You wouldn't believe how nervous I was when I first did this. I was freaking out. And my boyfriend uh, kept telling me, like, there's no reason to freak out here. He was actually doing this way before me. So props to James, my boyfriend, who you heard say take five. Um, 
If you haven't, check out his channel, The Unique Playground. I'm actually his editor. A. Hey. So even though I've been out of the scene, I haven't really. I've just been behind the scenes. So check out his channel, The Unique Playground. And that's to promote health and fitness and wellness, all right? So there we go. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. Now, the first thing we want to do, I'm going to be using, the, obviously, the phone as my camera. And I'm really blind, so I apologize when I get very up close. But you want to start with picking a spot. Now, you do not want to be doing this if you're having any kind of outbreak, if you're having any rashes, any just any sensitivity to anything, any acne outbreaks. This is great for acne, like hyperpigmentation and things like that, the acne scars that it leaves you. But you don't want to do this when you have acne because then you'll just be spreading it all over your face. So make sure no breakouts, all right? You also want to be doing this when it's nice time because um, your face is going to be a little uncomfortable honestly and then once you put the serum I obviously I was just like irritated a little annoyed with it when I first did it and I was just happy I was able to go to sleep so it kind of just took that irritation away um, but again remember what it is that you're doing you're putting little needles into your skin so why would it not be disturbing your skin that's the whole point that way this um it can go back and restore your skin and promote co a collagen and everything else like that all right so that is the goal all right now i sterilized it i took it out after sterilizer while i was uh, showering it was sterilizing then i took it out and i let it dry while i was getting dressed i'm speaking to you guys so now it is ready <clears throat> And let's get started also one more thing i'm sorry if i sound like a man right now uh my son is four years old and if you're a mom you have been screaming during this quarantine time there is no way you haven't so <clears throat> also i'm dominican so we don't know how to talk we scream all right <laughs> all right pick a spot all right so your goal is you're going to pick that spot and you're going to roll over that spot five times all right so one, two, three, four, five. Now the biggest thing is when I first did it, I dragged it and I heard you're not supposed to and I completely found out why. It's because you're actually going to be tearing at your skin. So you don't want to drag it. You're just rolling it five times, pick it up and then put it back, all right? So I'm going to do it one more at a time. This time put a little bit more pressure because I actually didn't feel like I put enough. So one, two, three, four five good now you're going to go hit the same spot but in a different direction We are back. I right. finished just derma rolling my face. Now my face feels it all over. I even did my neck. I'm going to show you right now how to do your lips. What I like to do is I like to put my tongue under like that area under my lip and just bring it out. Okay. This way. Now you did see me. I did it under my lip and I also just try to catch my lip as well. I bring my tongue, um, well, you'll see it looks a little weird, but I bring my skin out away from my teeth because I found that you, when the needle hits your teeth, tooth, it just does not feel good or sound good, all right? So you'll just see little things that I do. You see, I do have dark skin over here, hyperpigmentation. So it definitely, I've heard that it definitely helps with that as well on your lips. And it also helps with poutiness and dryness. So I am more than willing to find out. Now, step five, all right, after your lips, you want to sterilize this. 
make sure you sterilize it so wherever you um you take that alcohol you pour it on top and then you also or you put it in whatever container you're going to put it in for a little bit let it sterilize for a couple of minutes take it out let it and then just put it let it air dry and then put it back where it is that you my skin is feeling very tingly. Hola, everybody. All right, so step six is put your serum, all right? You want to cut a lot of it that uh, people stick with is vitamin C for a lot of different reasons. It helps produce collagen. It also helps with wrinkles, anti-aging. It also helps with um, even skin, skin tone, hyperpigmentation, things like that. So it's really good and beneficial. Your skin does not make vitamin C. So you want to be able to uh, give that vitamin C as a supplement. As the supplement we're using is a serum. Now, this also has hydrochloric acid. Now, what hydrochloric acid is, is also great for wrinkles. It helps reduce redness, and it also helps with acne, okay? Because it's a great humectant, humectant, okay? And what humectant means is that it brings moisture to the body. So a lot of times it's what acne, the, what people think is what acne needs is to be dried out, and that's the opposite. You need moisture to be brought to the body, so this helps with that as well. Of course, make sure anything when you're trying it new, make sure it does not irritate your skin. Try one thing, uh, if you're trying different products, try one thing at a time. This way you're able to narrow down what product that it is that's giving you that allergic reaction. All right, um, but I tried this, this, I like this, this works awesome. So for step six, we are putting the uh, serum. your face feels it I'm not gonna say your face does not feel irritated because I would be lying all right your face definitely feels it and remember it's supposed to feel it why because you're literally puncturing yourself with needles also with your derma roller which is very important I just put my sterilized so I don't want to touch it um, the biggest thing that you want to check is that it's actual needles and not like a pin wheel. So when it's a pin wheel, that means it's actually like metal and it's not as sharp as needles. Remember, you want it to be sharp. This way, when it actually it, uh, punctures your skin, it's going directly where it needs to go into and it's not tearing, okay? You don't want to be adding any force pressure that you need to be doing. It's something that you move on nice and simple and your face is going to be feeling it my face feels it now again i like doing it at night because at night it does not you can go to sleep and then that irritation goes down this is my second time doing it also so i will definitely be making sure i go through the process with you guys this way you can see any of the difference i'm trying to get rid of all my acne um hyperpigmentation acne scars that i have so even on my lips so that's my goal, all right? So we're gonna to get to step seven, which is moisturize, and then we are done. All right, guys, so this is step seven, and I'm just going to moisturize. This is a vitamin E oil. It's with, uh, mixed with jojoba oil, which I really like because my skin doesn't seem to soak it up right away, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's heavy on my skin either, but my skin has a really hard time soaking it up. I'm not a big fan of things that just make your skin soak up right away because my skin is pretty dry. So I, I don't feel like it moisturizes my face enough and my face just becomes really dry right away. So I love serums because one, it just feels freaking amazing. <laughs> and two, because it just leaves your skin looking radiant and feeling radiant a lot longer than I find with creams and other things. So that is my Derma Rolling Seven Steps, my Seven Steps, my Seven Easy Steps to Derma Rolling. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining. I just realized I just realized I need a meal. Alright, well I'll 
I'll just turn that off because now that's just pointless. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night and I will see you next time. All right, toodles. Make sure you like.